Hi, this short video is going to demonstrate how to add plants, check those plants, harvest seeds or fruit or cuttings from those plants on the Nerds Ina mobile app. So you can see I, um, I'm already logged in and I've already fetched data and I'm ready to work offline or online. Now, I'm gonna, the first thing I'm going to demonstrate is how to add a plant. And I've, the other thing I've actually done is I filtered um, my map so it's only showing active plants. So I'm going to add a new plant. Um, if I click this button on the right and select plant, that'll take a point where I am and allow me to add a plant. So it defaults names the plant, year, 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 month, month, day, day, hour, hour, minute, minute, second, second, my initials, and then plant. If I select the taxon or variety, um, it changes the name of the plant. I can also add a tag to the plant. And that also could change the name of the plant. I can also click and I can edit the actual name of the plant. Or if I have a barcode on a tag or something, I can actually click this barcode scan button and it'll allow me to scan the barcode and it'll write the name to either the name field or the tag field as well. So now I can fill in the rest of my form. It's an individual plant. It's alive. Uh, all these drop downs can actually be configured and set up on the web and then pulled onto the mobile app. Then I can take a picture of my plant and then I can save it. Once I've saved the plant, now I can add a check or a harvest. So if I click add check, pops open a form that I can fill out. Some of these fields are actually multi-select, fill out my form, I can take multiple pictures and I can save. I could also harvest, harvest fruit or seed, so I can click add harvest. And when I click add harvest, it actually gives the uh, collection a name and I'll add a barcode scanner here as well. But you could change this uh, and this is just a unique name of the collection itself. It essentially takes the name of the, the plant and adds year, 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 month, month, day, day, hour, hour, minute, minute, second, second to that name so that it's unique. But you can actually come in here and you can change it to whatever you want it to. So I can collect, fill in my form. I can actually even set who, who the destination for those seeds or fruits are going to. And I can add work hours and add photos to the collection. Save that as well. So now when I come back to the map, um, I can see my, my plant is there and it's actually turned gray because that means I've checked today. Now if I want to search for an existing plant, I can uh, select it off the map by clicking on it or I can click this uh, magnifying glass and I can type in the name and it'll come up on the map and actually highlight and take me to the plant where I can then click on the, the name of it or click data or click check and come in and um, edit it. I can also get to that menu by long pressing on the magnifying glass. I can get to a menu of features where then I can, I can get a list of all my plants and I can do the same thing. Uh, click on the name to edit the plant or click on this little arrow. It'll take me to it on the map. I can get to that menu as well by going to the menu and going to the data menu and clicking on plants. I can also click on this work menu and I can get a list of all my plant checks for all my different plants as well. And I can come in and I can edit the checks. Or same thing, I can click my plant harvest and I can see all my seed collections. And I can then menu, then I can then edit. Um, yeah, so that's that's essentially adding, checking, and um, editing plant points. So if you have any questions, uh, please let us know. Actually, one, one other cool thing to add is once you've done a harvest with this plant point app, um, if you're adding it to a nursery or a accession, it'll actually pull up all that information for you. And I'll, I'll show you that in another video. There's also a video showing how to interact with these plants on the website, setting the drop-down lists up, and um, 
making changes on the website. So thanks for watching. Please let, let us know if you have any questions.